In this episode, you will learn how to shoot high-quality videos on your smartphone for your blog. I will tell you how to improve your videos using natural lighting, apply multi-camera shooting, discuss how to use different phone cameras and share other techniques to enhance your filming and editing skills. Friends, hello everyone, Alex Yasny is with you. Today I will talk about 5 recommendations and tips that will help even beginners shoot excellent videos on smartphone without additional equipment. Also, at the end of the video there will be useful bonus that will further enhance your videos and allow you to shoot them much faster. So let's get started. The first recommendation I always give to bloggers who already know how to shoot but want to improve their skills is to use the main camera. It's located on the back of the smartphone and compared to the selfie camera has a larger sensor, a more light-sensitive lens and provides a clear, clean picture with minimal noise and artifacts. This camera also has a reliable after-focus good stabilization and even a slight but real background blur, which will add depth to your video. Therefore, to unleash the full potential of your smartphone in terms of video shooting, I recommend using the main camera. The second recommendation also concerns the main camera. To use it for filming yourself, a special mirror will help you. It easily attaches to the phone mount and in the reflection of the screen you can see the composition of the frame, the battery level, the amount of free space and other parameters. The accessory is very light and compact, takes up a little space and can be used for shooting both at home on a tripod and outdoors on the go in vlog mode. And for girls, these accessories will be an excellent solution for powdering the nose before shooting. A little life hack. When you use this mirror to avoid searching to the record button on the screen, just press any volume button on the phone to start shooting and you can also stop it. Additionally, this mirror is suitable for cameras without a flip screen. For example, Sony A1000 series. This device will turn such a camera into a full-fledged vlogging camera for shooting yourself. There are several different versions of these mirrors, as well as at different prices. In any case, check out the links in the description to find out more about this useful device. The third recommendation for creating great lighting and clean, noise-free images is to shoot video in natural daylight by the window. If you have dark curtains in your room, you can raise them slightly so that a small strip of light remains about the weight of your body, possibly slightly wider or narrower depending on your preferences for the image. This way you will be well hit and the background behind you will be darkened, adding more contrast and depth to the frame. If you want, you can place additional lights in the background, such as a floor lamp, a table lamp, hang some fairy lights and so on. All of this will make the image more interesting and give it more professional look in your video. And if you have light and slightly translucent curtains, you can raise them completely so that soft, diffused light falls on you, making your face slightly more beautiful. In this case, the window with curtains become like a large diffuser and shadows, wrinkles and other nuances on the face will be less noticeable. Also, for working with video lighting, I have a separate video, link will be in the description. The next recommendation is to use the telephoto camera to create a unique frame for shooting and get a slightly more interesting picture than with the standard wide angel camera of the phone. The thing is that optics with a longer focal length are usually used in professional projects, in cinema, recording and high budget shows and by using a telephoto lens on a smartphone we can slightly bring the style of our video closer to such content. Plus, these optics almost does not introduce geometric distortions, making the person look slimmer and more elongated when shooting with the white angel. In general, you can switch between shooting on different cameras of your smartphone, for example, start with the white angel camera, then switch to a telephoto lens and then possibly switch to an ultra white angel. 
All of this will help you make your videos more creative and interesting. The problem with shooting with telephoto lens may arise if you want to shoot yourself, as the phone must be at a distance for you to fully fit into the frame, so you cannot set the framing, angle and setting yourself. And the mirror, what I already mentioned, is also not suitable here, because the distance is too great and you simply cannot see anything in the reflection. But of course there is a way out, use a special programs to stream your smartphone screen to a laptop, tablet or another phone remotely and control the entire process on a large display or monitor. This can also help when shooting on any other camera when the phone is turned to you with the back and you cannot see what is happening on the screen. Check out detailed videos about this on my channel. And the last recommendation what will take the quality of your videos to a new level is a multi-camera shooting. This option will be useful for recording your blog, educational courses or podcasts with multiple people to make the content more rich, diverse and dynamic. This done as follows. We need to set up a second smartphone at a slight angle to our cells. For example, on a table or alternatively take it a little further on a tripod. Then we set the angle and press the record button on both smartphones. You can also use a mirror or screen sharing as I mentioned earlier to shoot on the main cameras and get cooler picture. And the second camera will help get rid of jump cuts. Jump cuts occur when we remove extra pieces, extra duplicates and frames are hard joined to each other on the editing, resulting a jerky video that doesn't look very good. And instead of these jump cuts in editing, we simply switch one camera to another, alternating them sequentially. This makes the video looks more harmonious and professional. Of course, filming with two smartphones requires more preparation and editing time from you, but if you want to enhance your videos, make them more interesting, richer and more creative, then you definitely should try this option. A detailed guide about this will be in the description, so I recommend checking it out. And now the bonus I mentioned at the very beginning is a special checklist that will help you speed up the shooting process, not miss important moments, save the times and nerves, download it using the link in the description, dare to create and see you.